Welcome to our live training session here with our turbocharged BMW M3. We're going to be learning how to tune and calibrate this vehicle using an ECU Master EMU Black standalone system. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find that it has a bone stock S54 inline six cylinder engine. Now this engine's unique. It has dual variable cam known as Thanos in the BMW terms and it's going to be individual throttle bodies that are drive by wire. So we're going to be learning how to calibrate all of that using our EMU Black standalone. Now in addition to this, this engine has been converted from the naturally aspirated state that BMW created the car with into a turbocharged application using a custom turbo kit based around a precision 6870 turbocharger. It has a three inch turbo back exhaust and it has all the normal things you would find in a turbo kit, large front mount, blow off valve, external wastegate, and uh, we'll find that the external wastegate set up for about a four or five pound wastegate spring. In addition to this, we'll find that it has the built-in wideband LSU 4.9 Bosch sensor that's fitted to the EMU Black, so we can use that for our tuning purposes. It also has a three-port boost solenoid that we're gonna be integrating and using for closed-loop boost control in our training tutorial here. And we'll be mapping this on 93 octane. Without further wait, let's jump into our first video here so we can learn how to create our base file and get our calibration process started. Welcome to our live training session here with our turbocharged BMW M3. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our EMU Black software so we can begin going over our base calibration file, get our engine fired up, and start our calibration process. So moving into our EMU Black software, I have it open my laptop screen right now. I have my laptop plugged into the USB port, plugged into the EMU Black, and I am online with it. We can see down here at the bottom, it's showing connected status um, because I am connected, keys on in the vehicle, but the engine is not running. So what we're gonna do here is go over the file that exists for this plug and play application. So this is a third party plug and play with an EMU Black uh, to run the dual Vanos and the drive-by wire individual throttle bodies here on this turbocharged BMW M3. So we're going to go over some of the settings. Some things are wrong in the base map. We're just going to go make sure all of the details are covered so that when we get it fired up and running in the next video, we'll have good results and we can start the calibration process uh, proper rather than going and chasing all kinds of problems. There might be some things that still exist in the file that could cause us problems. But we're going to go over the majority of them, the glaring problems that we need to fix and then again, move into doing the entire calibration process. This is a little bit different. Some of the other live training videos that I've done in the past, I usually start with a scratch file. Uh, so something that's gonna be kind of a universal um, uh, file. And then we go through and modify everything specific to the vehicle. There's just too many specific things for this BMW application that uh, to go over every minute detail it would just take way too long. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, in case you're watching this and you have a BMW M3 and you're using EMU Black, I'm going to have this calibration file available right on the course. You can download it and you can have it for reference if you want to uh, use it on your vehicle or just use it for reference sake. So uh, that will be available as the at the time you're going to be starting to watch this particular video. So let's move in here and let's start to go through each separate section of this base file to make sure it's valid, to make sure it's right, that we've covered all of our bases, and that um, there's nothing that's going to be causing us a major issue. Now, I do want to mention that this particular layout here is new. Um, I am on a newer version of the EMU Black software that we cover in the training course. If we go here to help and we go here to about, we can actually see that this particular version here is 2.123. This is the latest version that I've been able to find at the time of filming. So uh, what we're going to be finding is that this version opens up a lot more windows here, a lot more page layouts that we can use and work with. So I've created this custom page layout dedicated for this training tutorial. Again, this page layout will be available on the training course directory. You can download it. Um, it's going to be called your desktops and double check here. I have it saved as new tuning layout. I might have it a different file name, but this will be available again. So you can follow along with what's going on in the video and you can use it on your own car. So just some of the things are moved around a little bit differently and re-optimized. There's some goofy things with this software version that I've noticed um, compared to when we did the training course. So things like our graphical displays for a 3D table or the gauge displays do not work on my laptop. I don't know if it's this particular software version that I'm using, um, but they don't work. So you'll find that uh, we're not able to look at some of the graphical details within the software, but we can still do the entire calibration process and still have it valid. Let me go here and close this because again, I have this layout open and we're ready to go. So we're gonna move here from left all the way to right, all the way across the screen in each page layout, making sure all the details are covered. 
everything is going to be set up right. So let's go here to setup and let's start going down our list here and looking under fueling general. Under engine displacement, this is a 3.2 liter engine that's going to be uh, displayed correctly here. Under the fueling type, this is where we need to go in and decide what we're going to be doing for the calibration process. So speed density means that we have a VE table that's based on map pressure and engine speed. That's pretty normal for most applications. And we do have a, some additional choices here. We have alpha N, that's really for um, individual throttle bodies or extremely large throttle body that has poor vacuum or huge cams that has poor vacuum. Um, and we'll find that it's going to be based on throttle position as the load input to the main fuel or spark timing table. So it's different than the speed density which uses map pressure. And we don't use map pressure with alpha N because we can't generate a steady or solid map pressure reference and we can't reference where the fuel delivery should be in the fuel table or in the spark timing table. So it's a little bit erratic. Um, alpha N doesn't suit this application. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.